Hi guys, how are you? How's your your evening? And yesterday we were not together. Today we are going to do something cool. Uh, as you can see in front of us, we have filament. So today I wanted to think as a client, as a client, a client approached me and he want he has a wines and spirits and he wants us to create for him. Uh, record management system and uh, he gave me some of his data which I'm just going to show it to you right away this is uh, his sales dry gin whiskey all this all this information as a developer as a as a, as a graphic designer as a as a as a programmer what should I do he wants all these informations when somebody uh, comes to his shop all this information the the type of whiskey he sells all that is going to be captured and then somebody can even order online and get his product uh, to reach her client so what did i think what what is going on through my mind I'm thinking should I use WordPress should I use uh, Laravel should I use um, should I use uh, Magento should I use OpenCAD come slowly we are going to use one of the best softwares or free softwares provided you know how to code Laravel Laravel uh, guys i know you guys know how to install laravel uh the way to install laravel is simple you can just go into their state into their into their um, uh, documentations and check so we are just going to install uh filament uh so we're just going to see how we're going to install filament and then we're going to come up with all these information inside now we're going to put all the information that our client has given us so we are going to dissect th those information so first we're going to have uh, with filament the login and logout is going to be taken care of as you can see uh, this is a filament application so just going to so, so basically it's going to give you a, a nutshell of logging and logout so this is what you're going to do so we are going just to start with the business process of our client so we log in into the system that is uh, you have already created your uh, you have already created your login your logout uh, you can add your images uh, and all that so our client in his documentation he told us that uh, he has products uh, he has the item product name he has the brand of those product and then he has the category and then the way the pricing so some will have the prices so all these are the products that uh, the client has and some at the end of the day we want to see it gives us the total of the uh, product the on the counter this is how much is remaining and all that so uh, as a developer we are going to let me just try to enable editing and then i try to exp so that it may be visible enough uh control plus 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 okay uh let's it's normally here i'm sorry so we have the product product name brand category and all that so this is what you're going to create right now this is what uh, we are going to build uh the way you're going to do it just going jumped into laravel remember yeah you must have your exam uh that is you have your you have your, your exam you run it starts the server and then the database it also started the database so we are going to create the brand the brand controller these are just brand controllers uh these are uh, customer controllers maybe the core customers who will order if he wants to create like blog posts testing out the businesses that he has now we have the product 
and also at the same time you're going also to manage like manage manage people who are going to to run we're going to people who are going to manage his shop who are the counter who, are, who will be on the counter who is selling which product so this is basically for accountability purposes who is selling the product now those are the the customers the the the, the office the office part of the business so this is how you can come up with a, a very simple application for your business and trust me i'm still working on it it's not yet completely over uh, when it's completely over i will i will put it on the market so guys you can always use your skills that you're having to do amazing stuff so this is what we are, what what we are going to do we are going to uh, we are going to make uh, we're going to like we're going to see how the brand looks like it has the main functions we normally call the crud uh, crud create read update delete and uh, the way you just okay when i say create this is what i mean you create information uh, uh let's say brand which brand do you know like i don't i don't take whiskey so i'll just give it as whiskey and then it pro auto generates for me the slug and then i give it a name there like the same whiskey control c that is creating that is crud the, the first c create okay uh, then read read update edit create create edit and then delete after you have created the brand you can edit that brand you can edit that brand whiskeys let me just put whiskeys yeah and then whiskey whiskey with kid i've already uh, this is what we called edit now the the, the crud functions now you can edit it and then at the same you can delete it like uh, you can do the delete functions you can see it has a very model nice you can also delete that function like it has the delete function do you want to delete yes no yes no yes so you also when you create an application you also have to tell your your the your audience basically it's an art when you are doing an application you are talking to somebody uh, so ensure you are also on this so are you sure you are asking your client are you sure do you want to remove me yeah are you want do you want to unblock me that's that, that's the kind of uh, the art you are talking about so coding is uh, think of it as uh, you are when you're doing an application you're not just doing it to get money but you're doing it to to serve others can imagine you can miss a button or you can refuse to put the right uh, notification to a application and then somebody imagine it is for a hospital and then somebody can misdiagnose somebody because you read you wrote a wrong code so that's the why that's why we're doing this so i've talked for like eight minutes let's jump let's jump to the code so uh this is what happens uh basically you have to understand uh, mm, you have to understand that um, that uh, okay uh, laravel uses a, a principle called model views controllers so the models these are the models uh, we can see we have the models you create the models for it uh, uh, those are the these are uh, the models where we have the brand the category the customers the post the products these are the 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 models and then we have the controllers controllers uh okay uh on a normal normal uh, laravel uh controllers normally happens on on http and then controllers but on this side all these functions normally happen always are on this folder but now on filament we it is using it is using a more more robust uh functions where the these are these are the functions are they are set on on 
because it it is not using the normal uh, normal 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 uh, normal mvc but okay it's still on the same bracket but there there's just been a slight change so uh the the key the, the key is the resource the resource folder so the user resource this is the resource where you create the forms the forms that uh, directly correlate uh, are in in contact with and then it has the functions uh where we have the create edit delete so this these functions these functions here list create index create and edit on the application they are found here so this is uh, this is the create and then the in okay this is uh when you click on edit this is the edit and then uh there are three uh and then uh, the, there's create uh, index when you go back to the after you have created the page uh when either you have deleted or created the page you when you do cancel this is the end index page so remember any page can be an index page uh the, as long as uh, you have configured it the right way so basically what uh, my first way of doing this because mostly some most of the code sometimes are repeated and then when i repeated the, then you add your own personal functions so i had to understand the concept of form this is the concept concept of form form this is the name uh, and then this is okay on this part of the of the the okay the schema this the form part it this is what makes this part when you create when let's say we are creating a brand this is what this is the form part this is the form part on the create form okay and then on uh, okay uh, let's go back cancel on um, now when you are viewing the data this is what will be brought from the database so this is what will happen this this part this part of where we have all the list of information from the database and then and then and then and then and then and then uh, the functions the functions edit and delete also so they are basically they have already been created so it it directly directly deletes that information from the database another important function of functions on this part you have to understand the the migrations 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 are the these are the informations that these are what really creates the database the migrations so basically create tables on databases so this is a user migration a user migration will be used to create the single components inside the database that is when you create a user this is what it means a user a user table this is what is what it means we have a, a users table and then these components called id name email verified password all these the records in which the information is going to be stored into the database this is what happens so this is what really creates those information inside inside the inside the database now the migrations those are what so basically when you when you you do php artisan migrate basically uh what happens is normally goes through all the migrations and checks if there is any empty empty migration that has not been done so it's going to be written onto the database so basically it's what it means it's going to create those new information if uh name was not on the database the name name field was not created it's going to create it and uh, another import part of imp important information is when you want to maybe you are not comfortable with the database or it has you have created the database and it has error you can always write php artisan okay you drop the you drop db wipe eh? It's called php artisan db wipe you can delete the database you can delete the database this is what you're just going to do right away you're going to delete the database 
and then uh, you can now uh, when you cl click the you drop the database all the information inside the database will be will be lost this is the database as you can see right now we have an empty database so if you want to 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 write all these migrations into the database what you're going to do you're just going to write php artisan migrate so it is going to pre prepare the database and then it's going to create the database it's going to create the user table all this catch customer and brand as you can see this point when you reload the database you'll be able to see uh, now all this information has been created the brand the categories all this and you can see the information is empty so what you're going to do we're just going to we are going to to create we are going to to create a user and the way to create a user you just write php artisan filament user create filament user filament user yeah create filament user so this is where you are going to create the user now we are just going to create zach rengo and then email address and then password you create the password for your application then no so when i go back to the application right now i've created now the user i can go back to the application and then i log in again and see i will have a brand new application so that's just a normal error so just going to log in uh, with the username and password and then you are going to have a brand new application so this is it, it will give you welcome zach and then now we can now start creating the brands so the brands either there's no new brand you're just going to do this let's call it whiskey whiskey and then body so that's just a, that's just a demo uh, whiskeys that's a brand maybe uh, so it has created you can see it has a more it has a it has a, a notification there so uh, when you go to buy all the li list of brands you can see we have whiskey so this is how i've understood filament and uh, i'm still building an application for it and by the end of the day i will be sharing with you a complete application okay uh, a complete booking and ordering for whiskeys online so basically it's a it's a when you want to order whiskey or you want to order rum or you want to order any type any any liquor you can use it to order this from the comfort of your seat so at the end of the day i'm go also going to implement adding payment system so it's just not going to be a, a simple application so somebody can use it to order whiskey and all that so uh, i thought it, it was going to be a short video but i think it has taken some time but uh, i appreciate for watching if you have not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe to zach animate studios cheers